Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and we are receiving update to Fallout 76. It was kind of a surprise. I'm expecting it to be some kind of a hotfix, but we'll see. I didn't read the patch notes yet, so let's dive in. The update size, I would say, is rather on the small side, around 10 GB, so much smaller than full size updates, but still not a very small one. We have design changes and improvements. First, gameplay. We've rebalanced self-inflicted damage from explosions. Okay. Which way? <laughs> like the most important part. Rebalance into what? Doing more or less self-damage? It's never included. That's a mystery for me. Why is it never included? The important part. Seasonal events. We've added new costumes and rewards to the seasonal spooky scorch and treat or treat events. Oh, that's cool. I'm curious how many and what kind. It's a mystery. We'll figure it out. Then we have bug fixes and improvements. Power, armor and armor. Power armor. Players no longer fail to enter power armor if the lowest charge battery is also equipped to a weapon. Oh, finally, this bug is addressed. That's good. Plushies. Updated plushies to be more consistent in which display cases they can be displayed in. Larger plushies are now not able to be displayed in as many situations. Note, if you have plushies already in your displays that are backwards, you may have to place them again. Under Armor. Alaskan Winter Secret Service Armor will now use the Secret Service Under Armor mod grouping instead of casual under armor mode grouping. Next under armor fix. Fix an issue where the secret service under armor preview was appearing with the Alaskan winter armor paint applied. Armor fix. The Raider Butchrest armor mode now uses the correct model. Arctic marine armor can now have the following paints applied to it. Red Viper, Free States, Nuclear Winter and Atomic Camo. Armor mods. The Aristocrats Legendary Armor mod now grants the expected increase in health and energy damage resistances bonuses as the player gains more caps. It was not working at all, so it is fixed now. Next, Armor mods. The Secret Service Armor can no longer drop with the Weightless Legendary mod. Oh, no explanation why? <laughs> why it cannot? What's the reason? Next, Solar and Torn Armor can now drop with the Weightless Legendary mod. The what? <laughs> okay, okay. Any explanation into that? Uh, I have no clue. Absolutely. I'm stunned here. I don't know what's going on. Next, Armor Mods. The Fiberglass Combat Armor Limp mod now provides correct damage resistances. More Armor Mods fixes. All pocketed Brawling and deep pocketed combat armor and leather armor mods now correctly change appearance when applied. I did not even know they supposed to. Okay, so they change appearance now. Apparel. The Alaskan winter helmet no longer appears as a Lachador mask when crafted. Cool. Crafting. Fermenting. The brewery fermenter has been updated to prevent it from being placed in both public workshops and in player shelters. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was not possible to place it even before. Maybe I missed something. General. Address an issue causing various items to not show up in the crafting menu such as The Auto Axe, Cold Shoulder, Union Power Armor, Makeshift Ronin Helmet and Gladiator Mask. Prefab. Address an issue where players could not place items inside air flight long prefab. Recipes. Fix recipes not properly appearing in the workbench unless required per cards were equipped. Decor. The vine wall decor now comes with a half wall variant. Events fixes. Mutated events. Drop odds for plants from mutated events should be closer to expected percentage chance values after learning either all the rare or all the ultra rare plants. Perks. Cannibal. Players can no longer eat corpses while also using furniture. 
Weapons, weapon mods. Gamma wave emitter mod now increases the capacity of fusion cores. Oh, cool. Uh, that's for the ultraside Gatling plasma and Gatling laser. I mean, an uh, ultraside Gatling laser and regular Gatling laser. Next, ammo. Fix an issue where fusion cores were not showing their condition properly in transfer mains. That's welcome. Ammo, plasma cores. Maximum ammo per charge is once again 500 rounds. What? It was never 500 rounds. So how is it once again 500 rounds? <laughs> okay, was it a buff to plasma cores? It was never 500. Miscellaneous. Ally, fix an inconsistency in Grandma Janko's dialogue subtitles. So those are patch notes. No mention of auto axe and union plans not being available from Giuseppe. Are those fixed too? I mean, we'll find out after the maintenance. For now, this is everything for this video. Thank you a lot for watching. I wish you amazing afternoon and see you in the next one.